so we are back again hi guys hi guys so are you from manufacturing background or working in the mechanical and design field if you have experience or or if you don't have experience and you are thinking to pursue masters in canada and you're confused about this thing so you are at the right place and this video is perfectly for you yes and so how are we helping you today so today we have miss pratika call as our guest uh, who is an experienced professional in this field and she has been like working in honda for the last 4 years so she was at the same place as you guys 2 years back so she'll be sharing her experiences and uh, journey with us wow that's awesome and yeah. she knows a lot about the scope of this manufacturing and design in canada and about the job market what certifications you should do you should watch the video till the end because she'll be telling about the job market and various certifications in the end towards the end so guys please like and subscribe our channel now let's begin hello pratika hi rashi hi sakshi how are you doing i'm oh, very good thank you so thank you for taking your time for this wonderful discussion with us and welcome to mindmind discussions thank you for having me okay so let's begin um can you please introduce yourself so what was your background and your experience uh so basically i am an electrical engineer and after my bachelor's i uh started working in a manufacturing company in honda cars india uh, i worked there for 4.5 years and then decided to do my masters in engineering management and i came to canada uh and i completed my masters as you are from manufacturing background could you tell us the scope of manufacturing industry in canada so if we compare with the tropical countries or with developing countries canada the scope of manufacturing in canada should i think according to me is a little less because mainly because uh, the developing countries from where we are from they are more labor intensive so the manpower is cheap there so most of the work 70% of all the autom- all the work in the manufacturing sectors is done by is done manually uh, so if the thing the work is done manually that means there is more requirement for problem solving there is more requirement for manpower handling that means indirectly there is more uh, mechanical engineer that are required so that over here has been taken over by uh, automation so there are less scope of defects of mistakes and less manpower handling and design there's only requirement in design which is just a one time investment so if we compare i would not say there is no scope at all but comparatively yes it's a little less also because there's one more point that uh, because of the climate here uh, i don't find a lot of oems uh, based in canada i you can you won't see a lot of them so you will see a part of it you'll feel uh, you'll see the assembly being done here and there are the parts getting manufactured from other countries where it's more suitable for manufacturing the conditions are more optimal oems oems are overall equipment manufacturing companies so the companies that uh, man- manufacture everything from the scrap and they'll complete the final they'll manufacture step by step till they've make the final product oh, okay so like if a student is planning to come here and he's a fresher or he's experienced or so what would be the scenario be like for him so if some if a fresher is coming they'll probably be coming for the technical course uh, the scenario is good because uh, they are made to do projects they are made to do uh, they are made to learn designing or if, depending on their interest on area of expertise or whatever they choose uh, it's it's going to be it's better in that aspect but if uh, compare it with somebody who has more experience uh, you need to actually uh, set yourself you have to like either go for some certifications uh, because uh, there in canada you need to understand that it's more like uh, it's it's more based on the certifications and how many skills you have things like that some examples are six sigma you have uh, in some project based companies where they take up projects they work in project wise uh project management course then you have for quality you can go for the cqe certification for for quality engineers also uh 
at least being acquainted to terms like Kaizen, to lean manufacturing and having some kind of background about it. Leading companies uh, like people should target or lead in which cities also do you recommend? In Canada, the major manufacturing hub is in Ontario. Uh, it's like GTA, Toronto, Mississauga, the entire area is the hub for manufacturing. And also places like Vancouver, Calgary. Uh, so I would say Ontario and British Columbia are good hubs for manufacturing compared to the rest of the Canada. For all these kind of the companies So we have some, we have a couple of OEMs. I would not say that a lot. In automotive, we have Toyota, we have ca uh, Honda cars, uh, we also have uh, MG Motors. Uh, the small manufacturings are your uh, Bayless. There are a lot of, and we also have Bombardier here, which are like actually Ford, to name a few. So, what is particularly the scope of design here? Can you please tell about that? Uh, I think it's uh, it's good. The okay. scope is good. You have you require design in almost every field of manufacturing so there are the softwares if you're acquainted with the softwares if you are doing projects on them it should be very helpful and regardless of this the field that you're going in it's required everywhere but uh, the jobs are again if i'm talking about the numbers here the number of the jobs you can't compare it with soft something like software industry like because these things are all one time these don't need updation and in manufacturing industry you you just make it it's like a capital based industry so okay, so if we talk about the current situation how you will define the job market in manufacturing uh, with reference to the pandemic, the pandemic. so yes I'll, i would say the market has slowed down tremendously because in this field you cannot work from home and uh, you have to actually it's product based industry so you can if you can't make products you are not going to generate jobs mm -hmm. so of course it has slowed down but on the same same side you have a lot of you can see a rise in jobs uh, in the medical instrumentation based industries because uh, they are like everybody requires them right now so uh, the, that sector is having like a lot like they are they are still in they are still going on and they are not they have not seen any slow slowing down in the jobs or in the market the remaining part of manufacturing surely has seen a big slowdown so can you please tell us about the roles that you that a person looks for here after completing the masters or management courses in the manufacturing um, companies yeah. So basically, uh, all the manufacturing has these definitive sections like production, you have uh, quality, maintenance. In each of them, there is a lot of manpower handling. There's a lot of problem solving. You need to think uh, quick and you need to solve the problems. They can be technical and they can be non-technical. Uh, so Kritika, we don't know much about this field. So uh, what do you think like students who are coming to pursue their masters, should they go for the programs having co-op options or there are not any programs with the co-op options? What do you recommend? Uh, the If you go for the technical, like the mechanical masters and mechanical applied sciences courses so most of them have internships and co-ops i would strongly recommend everybody to look for co-ops or internships at least which are uh, and if the if your university is providing a co-ops or companies for them it's even better it actually helps you enter in the market so will it be uh, easy for him to get the admission in the core courses after such a good experience of four or five years or the person might face some difficulties over that so you can get admissions what i understand is uh, it's easy to get admissions uh, but uh, for the visa uh, if you have like you've already got like five or six years of experience and then you are doing a diploma course or a small degree course even for technical degrees uh, it is a little difficult for your application to get approved. Thank you Kritika, it was a very nice and wonderful experience. Hope you all enjoyed this discussion with us and we'll be coming with many more amazing experiences and discussions like this for you. So subscribe and please like the video. Thank you Kritika and bye guys. Bye.